Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time to visit my channel and check out my video. And we're doing another setup video here um, with SPA at the 488 EVO. And uh, just to let everybody know, the CP server's been down for a while, even though I mean, I'm not racing too, haven't raced too much with it lately. But I mean, I wouldn't mind doing a race, might try to do one or two or something, but um, if it's working. But right now it hasn't been working, so doesn't really leave you much of a choice anyway but anyway um we're here with the 488 evo and what a missile this thing is definitely uh the prancing horse i mean it definitely has it everywhere um but but like the ferrari you have to do you really have to drive this car you cannot uh it, it you know you got to have a lot of small inputs um you have to drive it you can't you know it's just not going to turn and go and real easy you know, kind of like the Porsche, like I've said in the past. Um, it's just that's just the way that car is, especially on map one, um, which there is more performance there. But you really had, you know, you got to really drive it to get it out of it. Um, and it did really well here, in my opinion. So let's do a couple laps and then I'll go over the setup. And of course, I will leave a link to the setup in the description. So let's jump in the car. All the brake marks and brake markers and things are pretty much similar to any of the other videos that I've been doing. They're all really close. This thing is awesome going up a rouge. Um, no issues. You can climb all over the curb. You can do whatever you want to do. So this thing is great going up to here. Great speed, even though I got a pretty good downforce package on it. I think it hits 164, yeah. That's really good, the best I've seen so far. left-hander up here really well. Calculating the fuel mileage, it was, it, it, to stay on the number one map, you're probably going to need about 81, 82 liters. Um, should be all right. Of course, I had 80 liters, started out with 80 liters. This is lap nine. So I'm about three quarters of the way done. Two nineteen point zero five three. Um, my that was my best lap time. I mean, I was really hoping to get into two eighteens, and I was really close, but just a little bit off. It had I have run into two eighteen, so it's definitely capable. I mean, even with the race fuel load. So I've been running. I ran some uh, high two eighteen, so it's there. So let's go to the last lap. I kind of messed my lap up on purpose, but you know I really wanted to show because it, 
it, what I could what it could do no matter where you go. So I ran up on the curb here going up a rouge. You'll hear it. And I mean I ran right up on it. Right there. And no problem issue. It might it might have slowed me down a teeny bit, but but uh, it was not even an issue at all as you saw. Not even sparks or anything, so like I said, this thing is very uh, driver friendly as that as far as that's concerned. I was really trying to push it hard, but I still handle it, no problem. through the chicanes really good and that was the last lap of 30 minutes that was a 220.03 I was really hoping to stay in the 219s but just didn't do it probably got a little bit too aggressive in places but still you know like I said it still was fast um, I was happy with it so let's go over the setup And we got 26.1 on the front tires and 26 on the rears. The toe is a negative 0.1. And the camber is negative 3.5 on the front. And the caster is at 14.4. And I have tried a lot of different settings. Um, a, lot more a lot more negative camber. Um, and I settled just with this. It just felt the same. It felt the best. And, you know, I like the s smaller inputs as far as turning and things for it to react so I just stuck with this and tried to keep the the wear um, the best I could um, on the front and rear and that's another thing you know I'm always been trying to do um, is trying to keep the wear from front to rear tires you can see on all my prior videos you know, I mean I don't like them too extreme um, for the fact that you know once it you know you have the rear tires come off the qualify rubber sooner than the fronts and you get the car hand, ill handling a little bit and things like that. And I've always wanted it as close as I can get. So you don't have a drastic uh, change in handling until both tires are off their qualifying rubber. So again, I mean, I have been doing that with all my setups. But I just keep trying to improve upon that. And we're going to go over a few things where I'm, I've tried a few little different things here with the Ferrari to help with that. Uh, the rear, the toe on the rear is 0.1, and the camber is negative three. Electronics are three, five, and three with a number one on the ECU map. So again, that always can help with your fuel mileage and calm the car down if you go up to number three. But I was trying to get everything I could get out of it. Fuel, I had 80 liters, and of course, I had multiple stents here. Uh, this is the tires that I ran the 30 minutes it just had light graining on the front which I'm not too worried about and you can see the wear really I'm happy really happy with that because that's not a huge difference between the fronts and the rears and so I really 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 like really like that so um, I think that's a very big plus to the handling of the car to try to keep it you know uh, fast and drivable let's go to the mechanical I have 
30 on the anti roll bar, 56 on the brake bias with a steering ratio of 15. And again, you know, the brake bias, you could, I turned it down just a few tenths at a time near the end, uh, try to see what it would do. And it was fine. It handled it fine. And you could go down to 55 with not an issue if you would like. Um, the springs in the front are 163,800 with a bump stop rate of 900 and a bump stop range of 3. And on the rear, the springs are 141,000 with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of 24. Any roll bar is 15, and the preload on the diff is 120. And I have been all over the place with these. I have tried some different springs, which seem to slow down a little bit, some, a softer setup. And, um, and, of course, this is, I think, the same spring rates that I had at, at uh, Mount Panorama, which I had really good wear. So I'm just trying to keep the same since I think the car likes it. Try to keep around the same, um, same setup. You know, maybe vary here or there, but try to keep it close uh, from different tracks. And, of course, the any roll bar, like I said, I, I changed up and down, and so was the diff. I ran the diff as low as 80, I think. But it just, the, the back end just seemed to be, you know, you just seem to get a lot of wheel spin, one wheel spin, or this or that. So um, I settled on 120, and it seemed the best with that. Uh, dampers, or the shocks on the front. Or, or actually all the way around. They're same all the way around. Six, five, seven, six, which is probably a little bit more there I could play with, but you know it did seem to go up at a rouge really good, and any other bumps were fine, so I didn't see really any major issues. Arrow, and this is where you know I raised the car up a decent amount because it still got great top speed, 60 and 60, and um, the rear wing is nine, and this is where I changed it up. I got the brake ducts at two and three. And I did this to try to keep the rear tire cooler and run a little more heat in the front, again, to try to equal out that tire wear. Um, so that was the idea. And, of course, the tire stayed, you know, good temperatures and uh, brakes and all that, no problem. So it seemed to work pretty well. So, um, again, I'm just trying some different things to try to keep the, uh, the tire wear in check. But, again, you know, temperature, the the pressures on the tires and the brake ducts are all subject to change depending upon what your conditions are. So again, again, my temperatures are always in the mid-20s with low wind. That's on all my setups. And of course, the front arrow variation is a negative 0.5 so, um, on the Ferrari. So again, I hope you enjoy the setup and give me a like. You know, Hit the like button and subscribe. And please check the bell because again, I've had a few people say that uh, they're not getting notified of any of my new videos so please you know check the bell and make sure you click the bell to make sure that when a new video comes out you'll get uh you know youtube will let you know and i sure would appreciate you know, any sharing because i mean depending upon uh the popularity of the video youtube won't you know they won't recommend it a lot of times so anytime you share it well i would appreciate it and uh, I sure hope you uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I sure hope you come back and visit again real soon. So y'all take care and we'll see you the next time.